Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Sim Airport and our little airport here where today we are going to switch out gate B1 for a normal sized gate and then we'll move a bunch of flights around and then we'll be able to turn gate F1 into a legitimate um, uh, legitimate uh, destination for large planes. So let's work on that today. Here we're going to put in this large gate right there. Beautiful be able to uh, get that set up. Oh, too bad I wasn't able to do that before it turned midnight. I could have redone my entire schedule for the day. That would have been cool. That's all right, though. No worries. There's our new gate. So now we are going to move all this stuff from gate F1 into there like this. Just keep them in the same spots. No problem. Just a direct move upward and uh, need to reorient the window just a little bit so I can see things. There we go. Much better. Great. All right. I don't like the poor timing I have on a lot of these. Oh, well, that's all right. No worries. Okay. So now we have gate F1 where we can bring in a bunch of flights. Um, uh, this needs to be, wait, this needs to be assigned to the desks. And that one, thank you, needs to be assigned to the baggage depot. There we go. And this one is assigned to one, two, three. This one is assigned to four, five, six. Very good. Now, I saw an exclamation point. I guess I didn't. I mean, I'm sure I did, but it was like a temporary thing or of some sort. All right. Now, do we have, what do we have available? WestJet has a bombardier. No, thank you. A 737. I consider bringing that in. Arrow time, 7.07 at night. That seems like a good one. But what else do we have for night? A Ford Air, a couple of 7.07s. Starflight, 7.37. It's not better. And all right. So, yeah, let's uh, actually, a Ford Air. What are they going to give me? 2,800. 2500. So I'll take, I'll bring in a Ford Airs 2 707s and a 767 for the morning. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and schedule those up. Ford Air nighttime and a Ford Air morning time. You're going to need more time. There we are. And you, I'll put you right there and I'll give you a little bit of extra time as well, which means I'm going to move you there. Um, so I need one morning and like one afternoon. We'll see how our, um, how much uh, room we have left after that. I could do one morning and one afternoon with those three twenties. That's Pacific airlines, a morning and an afternoon with Juno 737 is smaller than the 320, uh, union air, small planes. No, thank you. Uh, Spark Jet, 7.37, well, 7.07 in the morning. Let's take that one. And now I need an afternoon flight, 7.67 in the afternoon. Sounds good to me. Accept that. Okay, let's look at our schedule here. Now, we won't get any of these flights today, unfortunately. Oh, well, I might be able to... Uh, now I can't really squeeze in another afternoon flight here. I just wouldn't have enough room for it in the schedule. But maybe I could squeeze in another morning flight. Let's see. I want to have an hour, especially if I did a smaller plane. No, I really can't. It's pretty tight to get in there. So, okay, good. That'll do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to scoot these guys kind of more into the middle of the thing so they don't line up with all the rest of those flights and we can have a little more a little more breathing room between all of our flights there on gate f1 um ah and we have the same number of flights on both of our large gates so that's good now this one is 180 max passengers i don't know why i don't just allow more a little more time for that one same here we'll allow a little more time for those good turn that speed up uh, I should not have to worry too much about expanding security. I guess uh, we can handle that today anyways. 
So I probably will want to expand security. I mean, inevitably, I'm going to want to. Oh, look at that. I have this whole new section that I built out. That must have been what we did at the end of the last episode. So let's clear out like these walls. And let's put some flooring in to match up with the rest of the airport. So we're going to match those up right there. I'm going to put some flooring in there. And then we'll put in the new flooring over on the other side, like so. It looks good. And now, plants, objects, plant, number two. And we'll run those like that. Should be fine. I'm not even going to look too close at making sure that I have them in the perfect spots. I'm still looking pretty close to make sure I have them in the almost perfect spots. <laughs> but I didn't count how many rows down this was because honestly it doesn't matter because there's a wall right down here. So even if they're supposed to be here, it's all going to work out the same in the long run. All right. Lots of planes going in and out. Our score is, or our cash is going up. Our score is still staying pretty much the same. Let's look at flooring up. Oh, we have this whole area done. So we're going to clear this out. Have we done the utilities through here? We have. Very nice. Oh, I like it. So we are ready to rock when it comes to our new ticketing area. Um, I uh, Since we have plenty of time, I'm going to go ahead and take care of some of the things like floors first. And we're going to go zone and then click on the button for the ticketing zone and we're going to expand that ticketing zone up into well definitely up into here for sure now do I want to leave room over here for things like snack shacks and whatnot I think so I don't see why I wouldn't yeah that's fine and then we'll have to clear all this nonsense out. But we'll do the usual. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Wow, we're going to have a lot of ticketing desks, that's for sure. And we'll do a slow, gradual change. Which I'm sure that's what you guys love to see. Things switching over. Build something, delete something, build something, delete something. I guess building queues first. I don't know about that. The main thing will be building the first desks in the right spot. So I want to, let's look at our utilities. And then if we look at, oh, so the second spot down, then I look at objects. Oh, it's so hard to remember where everything is. How do the how do these desks actually here? Let's let's look at utilities. Oh, you can't do both, huh? Hmm, that's too bad. So I want this spot right there. I'm actually going to put a finger on my monitor for that. And we're going to go to... Hard to hard to uh, see what's going on when I have my finger on my monitor. All right, there's the thing. And so this is the pattern for the, for the uh, utilities, isn't it? It is. Perfect. Great. Okay, that's going to help. All I need to do is get the first ones in the right spot. Um, we want a ticketing desk. And we want it to be like that and like that. Beautiful. Okay, that's all we need. We can do every following desk based on that pattern. And um, let's do queues for every three desks. That I think will work out just fine. Ah, but I want to get I want to get those plants in here first. So uh, this looks like a good pattern for the plants. We're going to go objects. We're going to go plants, um, plant two. Now, how does that, ah, good. It fits in perfect with the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. All right, well, uh, fits in kind of weird with the, yeah, blocks usage of ticketing desk. Yeah, that's not going to be so good. Hmm. So I might have to move some of these plants. Well, that's how it goes. Is it going to block usage of ticketing desks over here too? Looks like it might. Yeah, this, this time it will. So, you know what? I'm going to cancel, cancel these for now. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I've got those ones installed. I've got our plants installed over on this side anyways. We're going to put that there. I can get the plants going in this row right there just fine. No worries, which will allow me to build the queues, which is kind of the thing that we're waiting on right now, right? So we're going to have a queue go like this, and then it'll go, that'll be fine. That should be good. Actually, I can make it a little bit longer. Why not? All right, and now uh, I guess I would want that same thing on the other side. So we're going to go Q, expand Q, and it doesn't need to be exactly the same, but it may as well be pretty much the same. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same because of the way the uh, plants are lined up, but that'll do right there. Nice, very nice. Now, I just need to go through and slowly dismantle, dismantle. Oh, these are our first class uh, desks too. And we'll do like four at a time and work through them all. Did I not set that one to dismantle? Guess I didn't. Get that thing uninstalled, come on. Guys, oh, and I need to assign to, assign, assign to, assign, there we go, assign, assign, great. And now we go object, and we go desk, ticketing desk, and then they're going to go like this. Hey, get rid of that garbage, it looks disgusting, you guys. All right. And we'll get those installed, and we'll dismantle these over time. This is this is the best part of this game, isn't it, everybody? You're welcome. I know this is just what you've been waiting for. The rearrangement of furniture. The building of queues. That's what good... Uh, let's, that's what good YouTubing Let's Playing is all about. I mean, I guess if I can make this interesting, I must be doing all right, huh? Whether, whether I'm making this interesting or not, I honestly don't know. All right, I'm going to close that. And so this is lined up right there. There we go. So we're going to go like that. And we're going to go one like that. Hmm, that's too much. Because the idea is I wanted to leave a little space in there. Not that we really need a little space, but, but the same, there you go. That seems to work out just fine. And then down here, we're trying to do the same thing. Like that. One, two, over, down, over, over, down. It doesn't really matter what words I say when I do that. Good stuff. So assign to there, there. And you, uh, I like that they do this so much faster now. Much easier, assign. Assign, nice. And uh, object, no, build, clear. You know what, let's do them all. And queues, oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Actually, it's not really taking that long. It's frustrating that you can't you can't like do like, you know what I mean? You got to do them in little rows. You can't unbuild the same way that you build. You'd think it would let you. Just undo that one, you silly goose. 
Come on, please. Thank you. There we go. This is the downside of building these fun maze-like queues. But we're almost done deleting them, so I won't have to worry much longer if I finish like that. There we go. Great. All right. So I should have eight of those ticketing desks in storage. Eight in stock. Beautiful. So we go one, two, three, four. And then over here. One, two, a three, and a four. These will be for first class. Because why not? There you go. There, one, two, over, like that. There, down. Don't start a new queue quite yet. There we go. Up here and like that. Beautiful. And here, same thing. Uh, yes, same thing. There and there, over, down, back, forth, up, sideways, inside out. All right, and then on this one, um, first class all the way, baby. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we'll do a little bit of squiggles in here in case we get a whole lot of first class customers, which I don't really expect, but you know what I mean? Stranger things have happened. Up oh, and here I did not quite do it the way I wanted to, but too bad. It's already done. So here, assign to, I said assign to first class. And this one, first class, beautiful. All right, and this desk goes here and here and here. And these desks here and here and here. And then we visualize cues so we can see all desks go, wait a minute, there we go. Nice, beautiful, looks good. So planning clears out like that, great. We actually could put in more desks. So I didn't need to, like these first class desks are gonna be in kind of a weird spot, but we'll fix that up eventually, I suppose. Let's throw in some more of those ticketing kiosks that people love, because uh, this is gonna be, this will be security area soon. So ticketing kiosk, we'll just throw some along the wall here. And then we'll uninstall these, and you know how that works. Oh, look at all those people getting off the train. That's why we have those big, long clusters of people coming through. It'd be nice if they would divvy up between the two sides a little better. Eh, whatever. Stop complaining, Sean. Be happy with what you've got. We're going to clear those things out. Oh, and now we can put in our plants along. The uh, plants over here don't seem to be hurting anybody. So uh, they can line up with the bag thingy. So we're going to go to plant number two, number nine. And they can't go there, but they can go there. So we're going to have them staggered off by one. And we'll put one there. Beautiful. We can have one there. No. All right, that's fine. And um, so we're off by one. Very nice. All right, so now this is a beautiful place for them to walk through and kind of kind of hang out in. Um, I'm going to move our dessert kiosk. I'm gonna dismantle that one and we're gonna dismantle that one and we'll reinstall them shortly. Objects, kiosk. We have a dessert kiosk that we'll put right there. And we have a health food kiosk that we'll put right there. That should be fine. Not crowded at all. And now we have our ticketing kiosks, which we will line up along this wall. We have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. All right, look at all that cash. We have $280,000. Don't seem to have any problems going on over here. I've been ignoring our actual terminal through most of this because I've been so busy focusing on security, but you know what? It's fine. Um, I am going to zone. I'm going to dezone using the button that says none. There it is right there. We're going to dezone this stuff through here. 
Actually, where do I want it to stop? I think it's down here that I want it to stop. If we look at utilities. Ah, here, great. Um, not too hard to figure out where the uh, the um, line is here. I think this is going to be the line for our utilities. Oh, look at that. I'm the best. Planning. So there's where our utilities end. I'm going to put one more little spot there just so I can remember. That's the last desk on that side. All right, that'll be good. So there's our, should that should be our permanent ticketing area. We go to zones. I do want to expand our ticketing zone out a little bit. I don't know if these queues being uncovered makes any difference, but we're going to include them in the ticketing zone. This does seem like a weird spot for our food kiosks. We probably, I probably should have kept them. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to... Because we have enough room for security, right? I don't know. You know what? Just leave them there. Who cares? Don't worry about it. I do think we need a few more janitors, though. So we're going to go to staff. We're going to go to janitor. There we go. Five more janitors. That's plenty. We've got $300,000. So we're getting close to, to what is it, 800000 to expand over there. 500000 to expand upwards. But we do want to expand this way. That is our long-term goal. We can't really do much more expansion until we actually achieve that. But one thing we can do is move our front door. So I'm going to move our, uh, not move, but we're just going to install a large sliding door right there. Great. Um, we will move our drop-off zone further up, right next to the fuel zone, strangely. And then we're going to change that to none, and we're going to cut our drop-off zone much smaller. Great. And our pickup zone, we could actually move our pickup zone. Let's move our, well, the garbage zone is in a pretty good spot, honestly. So let's move our pickup zone. There we go, if I can find it. I'm going to move that down here next to the garbage. Uh, you know what? I don't like that being next to the garbage. So we are going to move the uh, garbage zone. I'm going to take garbage. We're going to pull that down here. And we're going to set it up like that. We're going to, I guess, uninstall these dumpsters, unfortunately. You know what? Let's install new dumpsters first. Let's be smart about it. I said dumpster. There we go. We're going to do one, two, three, four. We'll get those installed. That way people don't have to hang out next to the dumpsters. Great. And then we're going to uninstall those dumpsters. And then we're going to dezone that garbage zone. And I should be able to do that now, even though there's a bunch of garbage piled up there. Very good. Great. Okay, now janitors will come and move all that garbage. $400,000. Getting close to midnight. We'll see. I definitely would like my airline interest to go up. Now, a few people have told me in the comments that I can look at... It's not in here. That would be nice if I could see it in here too. To change which columns are shown or hidden. Oh, really? I like that. Ah, too bad there's nothing more I can add. So I don't care about the, I don't really care about the flight number. And I don't really care about the aircraft. I mostly just care about the, oh, well it doesn't really, it didn't really change much to it. I guess I could have all that information being shown. What I would like to see is information on satisfaction. That's right, I forgot I can, oh my gosh, we have so much to do on the that I just haven't been even looking at. But like if we look on here, does it show, ah, this is accepted and active. So if we look at arrow time, we can see arrow time is concerned about airway and runway, airport and runway usage prices. 
we can see Pacific, passenger satisfaction, passengers missing their flights, fuel prices. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. All right, guys, you heard the timer. That means we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this. I am having fun, as I say every time, because it's true. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be playing this, especially a game like this where the, uh, you know, it's not like our, our number one hit ep- uh, series. Um, but I like this game, so you know what? We're going to play it a little more. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Click that like button to let me know that you care. And I really appreciate you being here. I will see you next time. Bye.